Okay, I just wanted to show some examples of how to uh, simplify an expression that begins as a logarithm. And the first thing you want to do is set them equal to x. And then once you set it equal to x, I have a simple method for solving to figure out what did that log equation equal. I take um, my pencil and from the base here, and in this one the base is 5, I draw an arrow from the base to the x. And then I rewrite it from what's called logarithm form to exponent form. And the rewrite is this, 5 to the x equals 625. Now all I have to do is figure out what power of 5 would give me 625? And you can use your calculator and see if you can figure that out. So hopefully you figured out that 5 to the 4th equals 625. All right, here's another one. Set this equal to x. Now what you might want to do is stop the video and try it before you watch me do this. All right, so now I'm going to draw the arrow. So 4 to the x equals 1 over 64. Now, 64 is 4 to the third. So 4 to the x equals 1 over 4 to the third. Hmm, this one's a little tricky. I'm going to move that to the top of the fraction. You know what happens when I do that? 4 to the x equals 4 to the negative 3, so x equals negative 3. All right, there you go. All right, let's try the next one. Again, you might want to stop the video and try it before I do. All right, next one. Well, set it equal to x, and then draw the arrow. You know how to do that, right? Okay, so... 2 to the x equals 4 root 2. This one's not so easy. This base is 2, so I need to write all of these with base 2. So 2 to the x equals 2 squared times 2 to what exponent? What exponent do I use for square root of 2? Hopefully, you remember that that's an exponent 1 half. Now, when I have two bases, the same, and I'm multiplying, what do I do with the exponents? I hope you said add them. So 2 to the x equals 2 to the 2 plus a half, which let's make it improper fraction, 2 to the 5 halves. So x equals 5 halves. All right, one last one. Again, stop the video and try it before I do it. <clears throat> okay, set it equal to x. So then I write the equation. 6 to the x equals cube root of 36. 6 to the x equals what exponent do I use on the 36 to represent cube root? I hope you said 1 third. All right. 6 to the x equals 6 squared to the one-third. You know how I got 6 squared, right? 36 is 6 squared. Now, what's the rule when I have a power raised to a power? I hope you said multiply, so 6 to the x equals 6 to the two-thirds. So x equals two-thirds. And we're done. Now you can try some of these for your homework. Good luck. Okay, I want to show how to simplify some log expressions. So you're going to have some of these for homework. And the expression looks like this, and the directions say simplify. First thing you do is set the problem equal to x. Then <clears throat> draw an arrow from the base to the x. What we're going to do is rewrite from log form into exponent form. And logs always equal exponents, okay? So we're going to write this as the base 5 to the exponent x equals 625. Now all you have to do is use your calculator and figure out 
one exponent goes on the 5, so you get 625. <clears throat> you can use trial and error just by guessing. Try 5 squared. Hopefully you didn't have to try that because you know 5 squared is 25. But um, 5 to the 4th equals 625. So this logarithm equals um, 4. X equals 4. So this logarithm equals 4. All right, let's try another one. Set it equal to x, draw the arrow, and now write it in exponent form. 4 to the x equals 1 over 64. Now this one's a little bit tricky. 64 is 4 to what exponent? Use your calculator if you don't know. <clears throat> it's 4 to the third, so 4 to the x equals 1 over 4 to the third. Oh boy, I need to get that 4 to be on top so that I don't have a fraction. Do you remember the rule if I want to move that 4 up to the top of the fraction? Right, you change the exponent so it becomes 4 to the negative third. So 4 to the x <coughs> equals 4 to the negative 3. So what does x equal in this case? x equals negative 3. So what does this log equal? negative 3. Okay, logs <coughs> equal exponents, so you have to figure out what exponent do I need. Alright, let's erase this and keep on going here. So again, first step, set it equal to x. Next step, write it in exponent form. Draw the arrow, 2 to the x equals 4 root 2. Oh, this one's really complicated need to write these numbers in exponent form. So, 2 to the x will keep equals, well, 4 would be 2 squared. What about square root of 2? 2 to what exponent? I hope you said 1 half. Now, <clears throat> when I have two bases multiplied, what do I do with the exponents? You add them. So, 2 plus a half is 2 and a half. Let's write that as an improper fraction, so it's 2 to the 5 halves equals 2 to the x. So what does x equal? x equals 5 halves. So what does this problem equal? 5 halves. All right, one more. Now listen, if you think you can do this, <clears throat> turn off the video and try it before I do the answer. All right, my first step, draw the arrow. Then I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to write 6 to the x equals cube root of 36. Well, 6 to the x equals 36 could be written as 6 squared. What exponent do I use for the cube root? Right, 1 third. And now, power to a power, what's the rule? Do I multiply exponents or add exponents? I hope you said multiply. 6 to the x equals 6 to the 2 thirds. So <clears throat> what goes here? 2 thirds. Right? Um, you'll have some of these for homework. Good luck following the procedure. I think you can do this. Just remember that logs always equal the exponent, so you have to figure out what exponent goes on here. Um, good luck.